it's pretty much a pleasure for me to stand here in front of you, outstanding scientists of the field and enthusiasts as well. I'm such honored to win the poster award, the precious poster award named Dr. Gilbert Lindy uh, yesterday evening. So I'd very much like to thank you for the cost of comedy for awarding me that award. I would also like to thank you for the opportunity so I can talk about my research in a little bit more detail and show my gratitude for all these. I was promised you that my talk won't take longer than 10 minutes or so. So most of you know are familiar with my research and our results as well. However, I did not take the time so far to talk about the way how we did our experiments and motivations. So we used an optical microscope with a CCD camera attached with it, that is what we call Hoyleo microscopy. We investigated the system uh, that was custom built. Uh, so we investigated the exclusion of information in the system that was custom built from two microscope slides pressed together. These slides are made of glass and are burned thoroughly clean before they were constructed in this uh, what we call a flow chamber. Between these glass slides, there is a paraffin. This is kind of a substance that is heat sensitive and melts when you heat this. And uh, it makes for the, it, it glues together the slides. And there is also the possibility to cut this to shape prior to pressing the slides together. So, therefore, we could form uh, the actual shape of the chamber. A priori pressing, uh, a small sample of nephew was placed in the middle of the chamber. Um, it's nephew 212, it's a little bit different than the, from the experiments that uh, we used in other experiments. Um, for every single experiment, the exclusions that we prepared, a new flow chamber to prevent uh, accidental contamination of the liquids from the earlier experiments. Um, I don't find a cursor here, sorry. And we feel also, we also fill these chambers for five minutes prior to every experiment with ultra pure milk in water to allow for the microscopic extension of the nephew membrane. We used 0.05% suspensions of my one micrometer cup oscillated microspheres. Recording through by video microscopy the start of the injection of the fluid into the cell and size measurements were made once the exclusion zone started to form around the nephew surfaces. As you can see on the left, we measured the size of the exclusion zone after multiple intervals of time. So we did this in a way that we captured still images from the video at uh, 10, 30 seconds and one minute, one and a half, and three minutes after the microsphere started to move away from the surface. After plotting the data, and we recognized that the microspheres actually migrated in a very regular, repeatable pattern in time. That's why we were able to fit the power curve to data points and obtain correlations over 99% to experimental data. We repeated the experiment almost 50 times and the high correlation rates remain, indicating that form, that the power law in that form is applicable to characterize the exclusion process, the kinetics of the exclusion process here in the surface. So we were curious whether the parameters A or B might change upon addition of ionic contaminants to the system. For this reason, we picked a couple of anions of the Hofmeister series. The Hofmeister effect was pretty much our interest in the beginning of our study because we knew that according to several reports the Hofmeister phenomenon, the specific ion effect, arises from the different action that ions take in water. So they alter the hydrogen bonding system of water. They interact with water structures. And you can see with green background the cosmotropic ions which are thought to stabilize the hydrogen bonding in water whereas others are called chaotropic because they are thought to weaken the hydrogen bonding system in water. So our hypothesis was 
if that exclusionary process really emerges upon the rearrangement of water molecules into a distinct phase, then reinforcing of hydrogen bonds in this peculiar phase of water would increase the rate of formation of the exclusionary zone. And we use these anions um, as their sodium salts to make for comparison. As contaminants of the atmosphere of the microsphere suspension in seven decimal concentrations ranging from one micromolar to one molar. As you can see in the chart, green and red curves do separate. There's one curve which is blue, that is sodium chloride, which was taken as a reference for all the other clients. The separation means that ions which are cosmotropic promote exclusion in comparison to those which are chaotropic and destabilize the hydrogen bonding system. From this result, we, we see, seem to have emphasized the role of structure in the development of the exclusion zone. However, in an effort to quantitize the effect of cosmotropic character, we try to find a correlation between cosmotropic character and the parameters of the pore level I just showed you earlier. For a rough estimation of the parameters A and B, we averaged all the kinetic curves taken from the Hofmeister experiments, I mean, with all the ions and all the concentrations we used, just to give a rough estimate for the parameters, to yield uh, 18.5 micrometers per second as well in for A, and 0 0.6 as well in for B. Unfortunately, we were not able to find a direct correlation between the value of A and cosmotropic character of the ion contaminant. But we noticed, as you can see in this table here, that the standard deviations show us a greater variation in the value of A than the value of B. So we supposed that all these fluctuations in the value of B might arise from simultaneously occurring phenomena such as like electric repulsion, and it may just affect the theoretical value of B, which is 0 0.5. And 0 0.5 corresponds to diffusion, because if B is 0 0.5, then distance travel gets proportional to the root of time. And in this sense, we continue to investigate what is really going on here. And therefore, we equalize the terms for diffusion and the power law we found earlier to term distance squared. And what we can find out is that we can deduce an apparent diffusion coefficient, as you can see here in the middle. And then, interestingly, First, we thought that the microspheres are diffusing away from the surface. But, rather, have a look at the diffusion coefficient. It has almost the same value as, as protons in the cytoplasm. Since we know that water and the whole cytoplasm is in a liquid crystalline state, we can now suspect that something similar is going on in the vicinity of the surface. And then we thought that the diffusing agents, the diffusing entities, are not the microspheres themselves, but rather hydrogen ions. And the diffusion of hydrogen ions is coupled to the movement of the microspheres. And I think this result is in great agreement with the hypothesis of Dr. Pollard about the hydrogen flux and the limited diffusivity as well, because you can see that this diffusion coefficient, what we found, is 10 times less than the average coefficient for hydrogen diffusion in the bulk phase of water. We don't know really what the exact mechanism here is, but we suppose that has something to do with the easy formation as a little bit crystal phase. In addition, I said you that we weren't able to find a correlation between the value of A cosmotropic character. But, after finding out that we can deduce diffusion coefficients for certain systems, we were able to draw a statistical correlation and to show there is a significant effect of the ions on the diffusion coefficient in the system, in this sense. 
Whenever designs are used in concentrations ranging from 1 millimolar to 100 millimolar. Um, the thing that antagonizes here each other is that the Hofmeister effect tends to um, take effect in larger concentrations, whereas we found and others have found that the exclusion zone diminishes upon increasing ionic concentration. So what we found here, I think, is just an intermediate between those two um, antagonizing processes. We also started to experiment with um, different um, microspheres, I mean different sizes and uh, different geometries of nothing. We investigated how blood behaved in the vicinity of nothing. But the um, lack of time, I mean not lack of presentation time, Preparation for the presentation time, I will leave this issue for a later <laughs> occasion. Uh, I would really like to uh, thank you for all the participants in this conference for giving me the astonishing and exciting insights and ideas. I'm um, looking forward to carry on with my research uh, with these new experiences and experiences.